Welcome back to page 121. Today we're going to take a look at a great offering from Independence Games, the Trade Empire class commercial transport. This is primarily in Earth Sector that this ship is seen. There's the cover, beautiful cover. I love these blue spine books. And then the beautiful back cover. This guy retails for $19.99. I want to thank the folks at Independence Games for sending this my way to take a look at. Absolutely beautiful stuff from from these guys. This is under the Cepheus uh, label, so it is usable for any 2 die 6 space game, specifically designed for the Independence Games Clement Sector, and like I say, in this case, Earth Sector. Quick background on the difference between the two. Clement Sector, Earth found the Zim Drive. The Zim Drive is a form of drive that is faster than light, FTL, and it's a form of jump drive, essentially, but you have to have a Zim entry point and a Zim exit point connecting the two systems that you're headed to. And there are limits as to the size of the vessel and the drive you have as to how far you can go. And it's kind of neat because it gives it a dynamic in the uh, climate sector, Earth sector universe, where you can actually blockade Zim points and attack things that come out of Zim points. And you always know where the guy's going in or coming out. It's kind of a neat twist on an old favorite. But uh, the Earth found something called the conduit, which is basically a, a black hole, whatever you kind of thing you want to call it, that connected Earth to other parts of the galaxy. In this case, it connected it to what became known as Clement Sector. Much of Independence Game stuff is in Independence, or is in Clement Sector. But not terribly long ago, the conduit, for reasons unknown, collapsed. And Earth and Clement Sector were permanently separated. So the, the one is, has, has to get along without the other and vice versa. It's a really interesting dynamic for this universe. It's one I really like. And that's why I'm, I'm talking about it a little bit. Because this Trade Empire class commercial transport is used primarily in Earth Sector. No reason a few of them couldn't have gotten through the conduit before the collapse. Uh, and you could absolutely uh, have them in your Clement Sector book games. But... That's where this book sets them, is in Earth Sector. The author, Michael Johnson, writes a great ship book. Artist Ian Stead and Michael Johnson, gotta love it. Uh, just, I love uh, Independence Game stuff. It's high quality. I started following these guys when they were first edition. I bought a lot of their PDFs off the off, uh, drive-thru RPG. I've always enjoyed it. I like Cepheus a lot. So we get a look at some beautiful artwork there. We get a, the table of contents, which is a great thing about all of these books from Independence Games. And then we get the Trade Empire class, commercial transport, the breakdown, 4,500 ton displacement. Its mass is 22,500 tons. Two ships, boats. Just a really nice ship. We get the developmental background, which is basically uh, early in Zim travel. There was no easy way to move a lot of freight with one ship. You had problems with reaction reactor mass being needed in order to propel your ship, fuel, and uh, you had a limit of 5,000 tons displacement as the largest thing can go through a Zim point. Well, this guy says, hey, wait a minute. Let's push the limit. We found now that we have reaction. Or we don't need reaction mass because we have gravotic drives in the early 23rd century. So we don't have a problem with having to carry so much fuel. And our technology overall for the drives has gotten better, the vessels are more durable. Let's push up to somewhere near that 5,000 ton displacement limit. In this case, 4,500 tons. I liked how this developed. The Republic of Texas, based in Kemp Transport, based it was developed in the Republic of Texas by the Kemp Transport Corporation and located at the orbital colonial capital of New Dallas. <laughs> I do like how Earth Sector is written. And then they quickly developed the ship because they realized that once the concept was out there and the industry got word of what they were trying to develop, it was imperative that they be the first to the block with it. So they worked hard to get it out there. There's a nice side view of it in space. And um, they, they got the thing out in record time, got through the shakedown, and started offering it for sale. Before they even finished the first sh shakedown cruise, they had a lot of uh, orders for these things. The idea behind this is by having a bigger transport that can carry more mass, you can cut down the size of your overall fleet. You have less individual vessels to uh, repair and pay for. 
And then, of course, the Navy got an idea and said, hey, let's take a look at this. Maybe we can use it. So there are several orders for the Navy as well. We got to look at the specifications for the hull and armor, engineering, command, the defensive armament. It's got some dual uh, laser turrets. And then passive defenses, which basically it's armor and some close-in anti-missile. Crew and accommodation and armory and other internal components. Get a nice look at the defensive armament distribution. And deck cutaway diagram. I always love the deck plans in these books. These are just fantastic. And of course, this is usable for pretty much any 2 die 6 uh, space game you want to play. Or if you're playing some 2 die 6 superhero game or even a post-apocalyptic game, you could still use a lot of this in there. We got to look at the ship's boat, the utility craft. We get the layout for it right there. And then the variance in service. You got to have a livestock transport. That thing's got to smell great. Uh, fuel tanker or ice hauler or starship transport. I like the idea that you just plop smaller starships in there and bring them from A to B. Uh, military use has it as a fleet replenishment tanker or a fleet tanker. And now we get some gorgeous artwork. I love it. I love the artwork in these books. Nice side view of it. I just, I love how these books are laid out. These really tease your imagination. Uh, section hit and crew strength tables. Design data. So all your design information you're going to need under the Clement Sector rules. Clement Sector 3rd edition. Trade Empire class corporate uh, transport vessel right there. Get the top down. And here we go with the deck plans. Absolutely gorgeous. I just, these are just so wonderfully detailed. And just, you can just pop this thing on your table and you can start playing with it immediately. I just, I absolutely love the way these books are laid out. I love the level of detail without smashing you over the head with a bunch of extraneous stuff. You, you get what you need so you can go ahead and run this guy. More of the deck. We get some stuff on the British Interstellar Company, which is the, the uh, primary carrier for these. More beautiful artwork. A nice blueprint layout of it. And then the legalese. And then we're back to the back of the book. And we're out. So again, an outstanding commercial vessel for use with your 2 die 6 space game under the Cepheus rules. I absolutely love Independence Game stuff. Uh, it, they do not disappoint. I, I open their books up and I find myself just, just devouring them. They're, they're quick reads. They're fun reads. A ton of ideas in them. Um, it's, it's rules light, but still you can play it in any of the systems you want to play it in. It's just really good product. So again, I want to thank the folks at Independence Games for sending this guy my way. And uh, I recommend it. I'm delighted to have it in my library. And uh, I have used it once on my table already. And I hope to use it again. So there you have it. That's all I've got for today on page 121. A quick look at the Trade Empire class commercial transport. Let me know what you think. Maybe there's some other ships out there for other 2 die 6 space games that uh, I should be paying some attention to. Uh, so I'm always open to suggestions. So go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Take a look at the Patreon. And I'll see you next time on page 121.